Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel, Dream of Crafts. My name is Deanna and today we'll be working on week 28 of my 52 weeks of Christmas. Today I've got a, it's a yard um, patio stone and it's shaped like this. I have a lot of sunshine coming to my window right now, so I'm very sorry. So it's shaped like this and I have pre-painted the back and the sides of this and we're going to paint the front together and i'm going to start with kind of a more of a reddish color this is burnt sienna it's kind of a reddish brown put this up here so we can see we're going to be doing a gingerbread man on this now if you go to pinterest you can type in christmas patio blocks painted patio blocks and they'll bring up a bunch of different ones um I decided to go with this one. I love gingerbread men, and I thought this would be a nice, quick, easy project for you. So I'm going to quickly kind of do this. I, got, I might need more. But I'm going to do this, and then while it's still kind of damp, I'm going to go over it with this other brown. And that's going to create a nice gingerbread color. You could do it with just the burnt sienna if you like. Um, but I thought a little bit more brown might be nice too. So, like I said, I just pour it on a little bit, smearing it out a little bit. Now this brick can be a little rough on your brushes. So try not to use your best paint brushes. This is just a Hobby Lobby brush. It comes in a pack of pie. I think, I think about it in a pack of five over in the art department. They're not too terrible, costly. All right. So I'm going to take my brown, and this brown is earth brown. It's an Anita's, but you could have any. So it's kind of just a little chocolatey brown. And as you can see, I'm just going to start spreading that out a little bit. And I will probably have to add, um, I probably have to dry this off with a blow gun or blow dryer thing. Otherwise, it won't. Uh, he got boy my words are all jumbled today <clears throat> um to dry this up because it is wet and we want to be able to get it painted here now there is a flat side to this which i have on the back and then there's this side that has the beveled edge so i want the beveled edge to face me but if you would like the flat edge to face you, you can do that. Let me grab my heat gun here. And we will put that in. I know it's a little loud, but we want to be able to... I have, um, well, that's doing that. I have this ribbon it was um uh, i don't know where i got it from american crafts ribbon and from the christmas so i'm guessing probably michael's or something i'm not sure but um it's got the gingerbread in it so i i tied it into a bowl and i've also got some more there that we're going to wrap around this neck and i have put some additional black and white paint and those are both anita's acrylics and i've got some on my plate there and this little thing here is just one of those pre-made little uh wood shapes they would like it looks like wood or fiberboard or something but it's just got the pre-made little thing on it you could use uh whatever you want this is what i decided to use it's already pre-made to keep it as simple as possible i looked at several of these this is this is a project that i've got i think i've got four of these bricks i was going to do them with my grandsons oh several years ago so they've just been sitting in a cabinet out in my garage it's just one of those things i've been wanting to get done just you know you just you just don't get to it you know it's like forget about it until summer rolls along and you're back out in that cabinet that you use in the summertime and there sits those bricks so glad to be 
working on that now. Let's set that aside because that stays hot for a while. All right, let me move this off of my computer. I wanted to cover my laptop because I didn't want paint spattered all over. It's kind of warm. So I've pre-painted this. It's just a little wood knob. And uh, I am sorry about that sun. That is, and it's a wood knob. I'm going to try to hold these things where you can see them. There we go. And I've just paint pre-painted it red. I'm going to put it on sideways like this so you don't see the holes so much. And that is going to be his nose. His eyes, we're going to paint black. So let me get my black here. And I am going to just make a mark with my pencil. So I can see where I want those eyes before I paint them on. Let me move this closer to me so I can see. And I think probably about right in here. Or maybe closer. Should we do closer? Let me see if I can get that off there without damaging my paint. All right, maybe there and there, I think. There we go. We got a warm one today. It's 90 degrees. <laughs> we went from winter to summer. And I am not going to complain too much because we had a long extended winter here in Michigan. And uh, typically in the evenings it starts to cool down and it's not so bad. And... Uh, Look at that. Oh, I can hear my dog outside, but she's just going to have to stay out because I don't. My husband is not home. She wanted to go out, so she's just going to have to stay out for a minute. This will not take us that long, I don't think. Let me see here. A little crooked, so maybe I'll make them a little bigger. To expand them out a little bit. Light is in my eyes too here. Let's see here. I have to hold it up a second. So I, okay, that looks pretty good. Now, for his mouth, I'm going to do an additional. There's my little nose. Here we go. This is where his nose is going to go. So we're going to set that there. In fact, let's just hot glue that on right now. Okay. So I've got. And that she is fine. We live in the country and uh, she is fine. She is an only child and <laughs> tad bit spoiled. So she's a little demanding. And when she wants something, she wants it yesterday. But she is actually fine. There is nothing wrong with her. She um, is just going to fuss a bit. So I'm going to put a smaller circle here. And a smaller circle here. Let me pull this up just a little bit so I can see it. Make it circle shaped. As close as I can get. It's hard on brick because the brick is um, kind of bumpy. All right. So now I'm going to do a line from that one to that one. And I'm going to try to make it a flat brush here. I want it to be a straight line. So here's one of my flat brushes. If you can see that. Let me get. Uh, I'll get it. There we go. Very thin flat brush. I'm going to do a, a smile, I think, on there. And I might also do that with pencil first so I can see it. I don't, I don't want it to be about right there. So maybe like that. There we go. All right. I'm coming off to the side here, so I'm out of the sun, so I can see what I'm doing. Nice thin line. And it might be a little bumpy, like I said, because the brick itself is, is very bumpy. So if it's a little bumpy, don't, don't beat yourself up over it. 
That's just the way it is. There we go. All right. So now I think for the ribbon, let's go ahead and wrap that around. This one I accidentally got in the paint <laughs> the thing. So I'm going to wrap this around like so, right at his neck point here. Make sure it's the right way. There we go. And I'm going to cut this off like right here. Okay. Now. This one's going to be sheer, and then I'm going to bring this one around like that. Oops, upside down. Don't do it upside down. I'm going to stand it up just for a second, okay? And I'm going to bring this around just like that. And I'm going to keep it just like these are his shoulders. I want this ribbon right at the top of his shoulders. So this be his neck then, what I'm going to call his neck. And we're going to come around here. All right, I'm going to lay him back down now. And let's pull this a little bit. Okay. And we might be able to cut this off a bit. Let's see here. So I'm going to put a dab of glue right in there to hold that down. Right in here. Just like so. Okay. There we go. I'm going to bring this around, and I think I'm going to cut that off just a little bit because it doesn't need to wrap all the way around there. So I'm just going to cut just a little bit off of there. I'm going to put my glue on this piece here because I don't know exactly where it's going to end, so I don't want it to I'm going to keep my fingers out of the way because I don't want to be burnt by that. And I'm going to lay that right over top of the other piece of the ribbon. See? Right over top. There we go. Now, my bow is going to go right here. So, but I'm going to just wait a minute because I want to get some white and I'm going to do my edges around here to create his white icing. So, let me get this stuff out of the way. I'm going to get my fine brush again here. And clean that off. I don't want no black in there. All right. So let's see here. I think I've got you guys in a good position. Let me. There we go. That's better. So I'm going to get a little bit of white paint here. Just like that. And I'm just going to start doing kind of a wavy line. Just like icing on a, on a gingerbread man. Don't have to be perfect. Perfect. and it's bumpy if you want to go back over it you can just like that and I don't want to get it on my ribbon and I probably should have put the ribbon on after I have did not pre-make one of these so getting good at that ain't I not pre-making anything it's like yep just wing it <laughs> So I hope that doesn't drive you crazy. But when I do things like that, then it also shows you that it's not one. It's, you can work around it a little bit if you want. Or you learn from my mistakes and you don't repeat them. So makes it kind of nice. All right. I'm just going to kind of rotate it a little bit. Let's get this going here. It's just little wavy lines, like hills and valleys. Not all the same. Okay. And I'm going to not touch my black. I'm going to come in here and try to get some on this edge here. My black is wet, so I don't want to put that my finger in there and then lift it up and be get it somewhere else too. Because trust me, if it's going to happen, I'll be the one that does it. Right. And see how nice that white just stands right out there, you know. And these aren't too expensive. 
like I said, I've had these in my um, cabinet out in the garage for <laughs> at least four years, probably longer. And uh, so I couldn't tell you exactly what they cost, but I know they're not that expensive. I'm just going to move that. We're getting there. There we go. Just like that. All right, so he needs a little, a little white in his eyes. Let's give him a little glint in his eyes there like that. Maybe we're going to do some red cheeks, I think. Um, let's see. Let's glue our little, our little thing on here. Like I said, you could do anything you want. So I think we'll put it right up there like that. And if it if the hot glue does not stick because the, the brick is you know gets too cold, then you can always um, use E6000 or every other your favorite uh, really hardy glue is. Okay, I'm gonna hot glue that bow right to there now. Another glue stick in here a split second. I hope you all are enjoying these videos. I'm having fun doing them. Sure. All right. So now I'm going to get just a little bit of my favorite red color, which is the red spice. It's a uh, apple barrel paint. And I use this a lot, especially because this is just, I don't know. It's just like the perfect color. And I want a brush that is kind of damp. I want this to be very watered down. So I'm actually going to water it down there. Do a little bit more. I want, I don't want a very defined, defined cheeks. I want it light. So I'm going to take my Q-tip. I'm going to run it in here. And I'm just going to kind of, okay, that looks about right. It's almost like a wet, just kind of wet. We're just going to smooth around down there a little bit. Maybe I'll add a little bit more of the red paint to it just to bring out some more. There we go. Just a little bit back in that wetness there. And I will go in and I will fix that um, where that pencil mark is there. I won't leave that on there. I will fix that. Okay. So now you can see he's got nice rosy cheeks. Not too definite, but they are there. Nice and rosy. So let's go ahead and we'll grab our white again. And we'll put a little reflection dot also on his cheeks. So let me get my marker here. I'm going to just get a little bit more white here. Give him just a little bit of a reflection dot over here and one over here. And what do you think? Should we should we write something on there? Hmm. You know what? I don't think so. I think if you want to paint a saying on there, uh, run, run as fast as you can or whatever, or put something else on there, I think you you are more than welcome to do that. I'm going to end it here. I think he is just right. And like I said, I will, once everything is dried really good, I will go back in and um, erase that pencil. Let's see if I can find a good eraser. I don't want to wreck the brick. I found these white erasers um, are pretty good. Let me see if I can get it off of there because I don't want to wreck the mess for you. There we go. See? There we go. So, yeah, I think that went pretty well. It's not too long of a video, pretty easy. Like I said, go ahead and go on Pinterest and take a look at all the different Christmas ones you can do. You could probably do one on one side and flip it over and do something else on the other side. Um, they had some that had 
ears and antlers and things like that. I didn't want to mess with that, but you could if you would like. Again, this is week number 28 of my 52 weeks of Christmas. A thumbs up is always appreciated. And if you would subscribe to my channel, that would just make my day. <laughs> so I hope you join in. If you do decide to subscribe, please hit the bell so you can be notified every time I put up a new video. Until the next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.